Now, animal protein is way too acidic for the human body. We don't process it properly. It is the main reason why one in three meat eaters continually get cancer. And it's one of the main causes of osteoporosis. Were you aware that when animal protein enters the human body, it makes our blood acidic instantaneously? But our blood can't stay acidic for long or else we die. So our body has to figure out instantly how to neutralize the acidity. I have some good news and some bad news. Let's start with the good. Our bodies have figured out how to neutralize the acidity. Bad news. There's only one way to make it happen at this point. With phosphate. There's only one source of phosphate in the human body. Bones. Just so you know, our bones are comprised of two things. Calcium phosphate, and they're binded together. So our body leaches calcium phosphate out of the bones, takes the phosphate to neutralize the acidity, and then we pee out the calcium. This is why every single epidemiological study, those are the ones done on human populations, every single one shows that societies that consume the most amount of animal protein have the worst rates of osteoporosis, bone fractures, and cancers. While societies that consume little to no animal protein, the vegan and vegetarian ones, Hindus, Buddhists, Jains, Rastafarians, Seventh-day Adventists, have little to no rates of osteoporosis, bone fractures, and cancers. And so we don't get into a debate during Q&A about different medical studies that are out there. A lot of times when people know I'm coming to